It's five o'clock and we are right on time. So if we could um, open the meeting. Gordon, we will open tonight's meeting and we will begin with a pledge of allegiance on Friday. Okay? Zach. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, United States of America, America. For which the Republic, for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, everyone. Okay, and if we can begin by approving the minutes for the February 24th meeting, someone could make a motion for that, please. Motion to approve minutes for the February meeting. And I second that motion. Great. And all in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? No. Great. Thank you. Um, now I'm going to make a motion to open the public hearing for 26 Germain Avenue. I'll second. Right. Um, so um, just want to ask the public, given that this is a public hearing, does anyone have any comments about 26 Germain Avenue? And so um, we do not see James Payton, the owner, at this point on. And yeah, I raised my hand. I'm waiting for additional information that we had asked him to supply, which we haven't received to date. Dean, there's a, a, there's a public person, I think, who wants to speak. Oh, great. Ah, the director. Okay. Yeah. Lee? Lee? May, Lou? I, may I speak? Uh, Yes. Uh, this is Yulio. I'm the architect for James Payton. Um, I was absent last two meetings because I have a DBA meeting at the Southampton Village exactly same time. Mm. So he did it himself. So today I will be presenting for him. Okay. Uh, good evening. Um, for, uh, I did watch the video uh, very closely and, and realized what the board concern is. And uh, Mr. Payton did uh, uh, a foil at the village and the information we got is not as comprehensive as we would like it to be, but we did prepare like um, uh, the size of the lot that's closest to him instead of, uh, and, and the, the size of the lot, the size of the building and the height of the building that's closest to him that we're gonna present. And the landscape plan, we also waited for the landscape architect who was really, really busy. He gave us pointers like what to plant, but in the end, we actually prepared the drawings ourselves because uh, it will be like several weeks out before he can produce his plan. So with that being said, I'm gonna start with the size of the house. So the size of the house, um, let me see if I can get the other, oh. okay. So we um, we have, hello? Yeah, can oh, you, can I share can my share screen? screen? Yes, I need yes, to please. share my screen, I'm sorry. Okay, um, thank you. I share a screen. Um, uh, can I ask a question while you're working on this? Were you able to uh, scale the house down at all? Because that was the one thing that we all kind of, there was definitely a consensus. Would everybody agree that we felt it was? Yes. Um, I have a hard time to share my screen. Uh, am I allowed to share? Yeah. Yeah, you're able to. I'm pressing the button, the green button that share screen. And I'm sorry. So like what? And if you if you so hit share screen and then new screen. Yeah. Oh, this one. Yeah. Can I select all of them? Yeah. You have to select them individually. 
Unless you have. How do, can I select all of them? Hold well down. I believe you need to. You can show them all to us, but. Oh, yep. sure. there you go. Great. Okay. Uh, there you go. I'm my husband. I cannot talk to you. Can I just, can I, can you answer okay. that question? That so I, I, did I share now? Yes, it's sharing now. Okay, it's sharing now. Can you, I, I definitely will, of course, go through this and everything, but can you answer my question? Were you able to scale it down at all? We or didn't we just not scale it? down the house. Um, we, okay. we, we just, um, okay. So, we are trying to that's all provide I, that's to the all board. I, that's that's fine. I just needed to, to know. Yeah. No, we did not scare. We did not scale down the house because we felt that uh, it is still um, within within the within the it's within the, the code and it's I I believe it's still in ha harmony with the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Not it's not really uh, out of scale in, in my opinion, of course. Okay. Um. So, so this is an this is the subject log. Can you see my cursor now? Yes. Okay. So, uh, number one, uh, is um uh, this lot thirty four Jermaine is 0.4 acres is forty seven square foot, and the height is twenty one feet, but it's a flat roof house. Um, my house is uh forty five hundred square foot, and my my acreage is. 40, uh, it's point, it's point seven, it's point seven three acres. So we are, it's, it's in terms of size, we're very Wait, similar. It, it, excuse me, um, do you have this written down anywhere so that we can see it all or you're just gonna go through it this way? I believe it was filed, right? It was, the, this, yeah, this document was filed, but I'm no. gonna just go through it. Okay, number one, it's 34 Germain, it's 0.4 acres, 45 and 47 square foot. And number two is five action bald. Um, the five action bald is 2.7 acres and it's 2,400 square foot, but they're expanding. They're gonna add a thousand square foot to the house. They're adding a bay to the garage and they're also gonna add a pool house. That must be a plan, right? It's in the process of uh, um, getting, uh, um, Excuse me. Kit, I think. And um, number three is 0.5 <laughs> acres. And then it's 2,600 square foot and it's 21 square foot high. And then number, uh, number four, number four is number 10 Archambault is 0.5 acres. 1,500 square foot is a, it's a, a Victorian house. This one is, is taller, it's like 29 feet. And then the next one is number five, is 14 Archambault. It's 0.5 acres, 3,300 square foot, and the height is 27 square foot, uh, 27 feet. Mm -hmm. um, so our house um, is uh, similar in size. Okay, and um, let me pull out the survey. Our house is 4,500 square foot and we have 0.73 acres. And uh, the lot is a very strange lot, basically. Very narrow and pointy at the very end, but we are sitting almost 200 feet away from the street. And, and the, uh, the height that the, the board was concerned with is that um, I want to point it out to the board is that the current house is actually sit very, very high. If you look at the, the survey of the existing house, and does everybody see my existing house? No. No. We still see the... Okay. This oh, is the okay. existing house. Do <clears throat> you see the existing house, the uh, survey? Mm, no. No. Hmm. Is it because it's not sharing this one? You know how to share this one? New yeah. share? Yeah. You see this now? There it is. Okay. So you can see the existing uh, existing dwelling 
The finished first floor is 28.7 feet. So it sits very high from the grade, actually. You can see the grade here is 24 feet, mm -hmm. 26 feet. And the house is actually sit very high. And I'm going to bring out a, a picture of this uh, lot. Do I need to do, the, do a new share again? Mm -hmm. New share. Yes. Yes. Each time, I guess. OK. So you can see this is the current house. You can see there are many steps to go up to, go up to the, the first floor. It's not really sitting low. Our new house is actually not at this level. We're going to sh shave it down a little bit because we have a little fill in the back that we need to do. So we're going to shave it down about two feet here. And the house is sitting at this level, not at the higher level, but lower level. So the total height we're adding is only three feet in the end. Um, so I felt because the, the house is sitting so far away from the, the, the German where most of the people are gonna see this house, uh, I personally felt it is, um, it's quite far. Um, let's see if I can pull out a rendering to show. So, so I'm gonna do a new share again. Do you see this? Um, do you see this uh, rendering? Not yet. <clears throat> oh. It's paused. Resume. No share. No. So you see the rendering. There you go. Yeah. So I mean, even though it is um, taller, a little bit taller than an old house, and uh, because we sit lower. And it's also very far from the street. Um, and then we are also using a lot of landscape to mitigate. I felt personally it's, uh, it's, it's, it's not out of proportion. And uh, we can also do another view, the new share. And that this is the view from the, the Archambault, Archambault. I think this view is actually not many people see it because it's 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 a it's quite um, it's a dead end street. Not many people really live here, and um, but we we did we did do a lot of uh, linden plane trees, a big trees that suggested by our land, landscape architect, and we also have hedges along the road. And uh, I'm going to show you the uh, landscape plan. Um, before, I don't think it's, I don't think we need to go into the landscape plan right now. I think we need to just focus on the house because it's the size and the appearance of the house is our major concern. And what we asked you to submit, you haven't really submitted anything to us um, that'll just make it easier for us to be able to do the comparison. I know you read some, some things off, but to be quite honest, it really helps that we can see all the numbers and we can be consistent how we look at averages so that it can be in harmony with the neighborhood. Well, um, you know, the, the neighborhood, the highest uh, roof is nine, 29 feet, which is... Um, and you're gonna be about 31? Which is, a, which is 10 action ball, it has 29 feet high. And, um, and the other house, the uh, number 20, number 14 is 27 feet high. And our, our lot from the existing grade is 29 feet. And then from the, from the, the average grade where we're gonna come up is 30 feet is within the code. And uh, I really don't think it's, it's, um, it's out, of, out of range because it's, it's 30 feet. That's what the, um, the code allows. And we are 200 feet away from the street. And we also lower the grade in order to mitigate the appearance because it's sitting on a hill. And Lucy, uh, Lucy no one is um, at all suggesting that you are going out of code. That's not the issue. It's more just how this 
proposed property, proposed um, building that you are hoping to do. And we understand it is an odd shaped lot and you're up on a hill. So it makes it even that much more imposing. Even though it's back up on the hill, um, it will jump out. Uh, so it is important for myself, you're saying the one house is 4,700 yeah. square feet, one's 4,500 square feet, one's 1,500 square feet, one's 33. And then I, I missed one because I couldn't hear it all. Okay. So we can go back to the... It, the process that we go through is then we take an average of the five that you submit. Okay. You mean the height or the square footage? Square, square footage. footage. <clears throat> we are not allowed to build to what we allow in terms of the square footage? Um, it needs to be in harmony with the neighborhood. That's the point that we've been making all along. And I don't think you're really understanding the point. And that's where if you can make it, even if the feeling is that it's not as large, it's when people are walking by and that's a very busy street, there's a lot of traffic there, foot traffic as well as driving that are going to be able to see this and it will certainly cause an impression. And we want it to be a positive one where it's in sync, not looking out of place. And that's really the point that we're trying to get across. That's really hard for people to go by because when I do square footage, whatever village and town I go to, there is a code of how much square footage you're allowed. I would assume that you are allowed in terms of the square footage. And However, we can read it, when we you're can in any start district, which this is, mm -hmm. um, and we look to have harmony. It's not what is the largest thing that you can build. It's yes, keeping in code, unless you're gonna go ask for a variance and that is people's right to do that. Um, for our board, we look at how will this new proposed building relate to the others that it is closest to? Well, Number 34 Jermaine, which is right across the street, is smaller in, in the lot size and is 30, 47 square foot. And it's like, you know, the same as ours, where ours is 4,500 square foot. And there I- Okay, that's great. Just, I'm sorry. I said, that's great. So that, that's, that's a good point. That's one, yeah. So, I mean, in terms of square footage, I really think we're at par. With, with the neighbors. And, and then the number two right now is a little bit smaller, but they're planning on adding a, a, a thousand square foot to the house. They're adding a bay to the garage and also adding a pool house. Yeah, but we don't so have they're growing that. as well. That see, that's been, great, but we don't have that. Like that hasn't been approved. That hasn't been approved. That doesn't really right. do anything for right now. Yeah, you have to understand that. That's great that that's a potential that might happen, but that's not something that we can make a decision on. That's, that's kind of, I find it like really hard to follow if, if there's no uh, straight uh, rule of how big a house can be built uh, in terms of square footage, right? It has to be a hard rule somewhere. Um, and there, then, I mean- There are hard rules, there are hard rules. And then there is applying those to how it is in harmony with the other homes in that area. And it doesn't have to be all of Sag Harbor because that would be too hard because there's such differences between one part of the neighborhood versus another. And we don't want everything to look the same. That is not the goal. We just want it to be that things feel like they are a part of it, even as we bring new homes in. And so I think if you read the historic district um, rules and guidelines that we go by, 
it's it's not the same as if you're building something um, in an area that's not part of the district. So okay. you are saying even though we are within the code, we may not be able to build what we allowed. Yes. Can I, uh, do you mind if I comment here? I, I think <laughs> what we're trying to say here is, is you've done some selective sort of things. You want to draw this analogy to Germain, but most of the neighbors are on Archibald. You're using a comparison to grade, but you're not taking into account that the grades that the neighbors are on, for the most part, are much lower than this. This is at the knoll of a hill. So, so the house is already, in relation to grade, it might not be higher, but in, in to, to relation to total elevation, it might be six, eight, or, or 12 feet higher. So the house becomes really imposing. We also oh. suggested that maybe, as opposed to a stark white, that perhaps another color that doesn't emphasize the size of a house, but de-emphasize the size, might be something that you want to want to consider. But what, it doesn't, what, doesn't seem that that was brought into account either. So the comparison, even to the one across the street, that has a larger square footage, it's very close to to grade. Of, um, of the street. And so it's almost tucked in. And I, I believe the property behind it is actually a little higher. So, so, so being an architect, you understand aesthetics and you understand massing, both actual massing and perceived massing. And that's really what we're trying to talk to you about. Okay. Um, so I understand the number one and number two are at a lower grade, but three, four, five, they are all the uh, same height as the 26th Germain. It's, it's on, on this side of the, on the west side of the street, they are uh, 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 higher. It, so, I mean, uh, number, two, number, two, number four, Which is the, the height grade? of the building is at 29. Which is the highest grade? Yes, Which four one? and five is actually higher than ours. I don't think so. This, this, I don't think yeah. so either. I'm going to go uh, get the uh, ground elevation plotted next time. I'm pretty sure the street goes higher as it goes towards the back. The, the on other the, house on the, on the west side. The other house that I was thinking about uh, for comparison, I know that you chose the house to the to the left. If you look to the right. Uh, the park house, that's, that square footage is, is smaller. I don't know what it is exactly, but it's definitely smaller. I mean, if you were taking your house, which is in between these two on Germain, when we're using that one on the left, uh, that, that, the, the one on the right is, is, uh, in, uh, is not as, as large. I'm just putting that out there. That's why <laughs> when you look at them. I didn't quite get it. Which house are you talking about? The park house that's right on, that's right to the right of your uh, property. The oh. left is, is the house that it, you're saying is 47 square feet. And yeah. then to the right on Germain is a, is a house that's on a hill, uh, but it, it's not as large. It's not, I do not believe it is. And you didn't use it as an example. I'm just saying that right there on Jermaine. Right. We are we are, pick, the pond. That's we are picking the house that's the closest to us, but we can actually expand. We can explore more houses. It would be interesting. Down the road. That is your that's your you know your, you the fence is right on it separates the two properties. <clears throat> you know um, the, I mean, the property is rather narrow, mm -hmm. so it makes the it's very um it may make this looks a little bit more uh tight down the lot but it's because the the length of the property if it is a square house it's it's if it is a square lot it will sit you know it would it will appear to have a lot of room left mm -hmm. and right it's it's right. just the shape of the lot that's making it difficult i think yes 
I would agree. We all we all agree with that, and um, clearly, uh, you know, what you're trying to do with the house, it's um, it's a very nice structure. We we agree with all that. We're just trying to make suggestions, as Mr. Williams said, potentially choose a, a different color. That was one of the things that we discussed last yes. time. Yes, yes. Um, if you could think of ways to change what part is visual to the road. Um, and I understand this is the difficulty with the shape of the property, but those were the things that we asked you to consider. And I don't think that any changes have been made at all um, to, to your original proposal. Is that correct? No, because last time when we listened to the board, I don't think board really specifically asked us to reduce the size. Board asked us to pre prepare like a uh, documentation of neighbors' properties and stuff and see I, where, we where we at. That's what we did. And we want to present to the board and say, you but know, we, don't we, have we believe we're in harmony. But if the board thinks that, you know, we really should make a little, a little bit more effort, we will definitely try to. I will definitely talk to the homeowner and see okay. what else that we can do to to reduce size and height and color and stuff. The color is actually uh, the homeowner and his wife was was not agreeing on any of the colors. So you know, so they are the only color they agreed upon is is white. They, and then Sag Harbor has so many white houses, and so we would like to you know, kind of back the board and see if, if that's still a viable solution because the husband and wife is kind of have a, quite a disagreement with the colors. Mm -hmm. And, um, but I will definitely bring it back to him and have a discussion with the color. As for, you know, really, I have to Say that board didn't specifically ask us to reduce anything. I just asked us to pr provide the documentation, which we did. And then we we believe we are still at par. But if the board disagree, we will try something to, and then come back. Um, okay. And then that would be think, really helpful. And if you could, you need to submit um, seven days prior to the meeting. Mm -hmm. what these numbers are so that yeah. the board has time to see it. To because review it, yeah. You just read it off to us tonight. It's just, it's it's not very helpful. Um, right. um, well, we appreciate you taking the time trying to gather the information and we understand mm -hmm. that. But, also, and, yeah. and it has to be something that is done, not something that might happen. Okay. It would It would also be helpful uh, what we were looking at, right, was with like number one, number two, but it was like it was like looking down at it. If we could, if you could actually show us pictures of the houses, that would be helpful. Uh, we have the picture of the houses, though, right? Is oh. it sharing? I didn't see. Uh, uh, you didn't share? Yeah, they were they were on the screen on the side, little pictures of the houses. Oh, I'm I'm sorry, I missed. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm I'm gonna do it again. No, we saw them. So, uh, so this, is, a, this is here we go. How about a Google Map presentation? Okay, so this is number this is number this one. Is number five. Oh, five. This okay. Number five. Yep. This is and number five. Okay. Um yeah. this is number five, and this okay, is the but house. so then Lucy, if you could submit all of this because yeah. we are spending a lot of time on this and Understood. Um, if you could submit it so that we can all see it and we can all appreciate what yeah. it is, and then that'll help us envision mm -hmm. um, how it will all fit in. That would be very helpful. And yeah, I believe there's one. Yeah, I will definitely do that. And then there's one more thing that sure. the board uh, last time, I think it's Mr. Williams. Uh, I raised the question about the garage swinging. And we did try to um to look at it um and uh again we're like i'm gonna plead with the board uh to please as um let us keep the original uh way of doing the garage um because if we're gonna swing from the side this way 
the garage will actually come out of the step back. And because uh, we need like about 35 feet to swing the garage door. And the um, another way would be um, swing this way. And that's kind of uh, difficult to the client because they're, they are little kids and, and then um, they probably have a lot of kids coming to play. So I'm a little bit worried that they a car this way in front of the house is a little bit dangerous for them. So basically we just like uh, hope that board will be okay with us to keep our original um, garage location, which is right here. Uh, this is a new share again. Oh, every time I have the new share, this is so hard. I'm sorry, um, I'm sorry. Let me just ask you a question. There's no garage there now. I think I, I drove up the hill from the other side of the lot when, when I looked to get a sense of the house because I remember there was a lot of stacked uh, cut wood, firewood, mm -hmm. and I came from the other direction. So why do you need the driveway off of Archibald World, Archibald now? No, the garage is always uh, entering from the same, same curb cut. The curb cut did not change. change. Curb cut is the same place. The original garage is is in the is in the back is in the back here, and it is actually sitting at four feet higher than what we're proposing. We're proposing right now the garage elevation is eighteen feet, and the, the existing garage sitting on the hill is four feet higher. It's in the back. It's where the current pool is. Mm -hmm. okay, so, so my comment was not about my comment was about the view from Archibald Way. And, and, and the fact that the house is dominant, the garage is dominant, and I don't understand how accessibility now, I mean, I don't wanna go through this now, but, but um, it, it just seems to me, look, this is a corner lot. I guess that's how I would describe this, right? And, and some of this presentation, you're, you're Picking Jermaine Avenue, other times you're using comps off of Archibald Way, and I know there's a desire these days to build as big a house as possible and make it look almost domineering to a landscape. That's our charge is not zoning; it's it's uh, preservation and aesthetics and yeah, I, Yes, I'm sorry, I interrupted. No, I understand. I understand we're going to, I'm definitely going back to the drawing board, uh, talk to my clients. We're going to try to reduce as, as much as it's to accommodate his need for the growing family. And uh, right now I'm just thinking if you could uh, be um, sympathetic with the location of the garage, because I, I tried um, different ways because the lot is very narrow, this is, seems like the, the, the most logical place and that I can put a garage and still be able to give a little backyard for the kids. Mm -hmm. Would that be okay? I just, you know, I'm, I'm kind of a little bit running out of wits, but I would definitely, definitely go back and talk to him, uh, relate the board's concern in terms of size and height, we'll come back with something. Okay. Um, I I, I think it, we can't really approve one part without seeing the whole package. Right. And I understand, I understand. I'm just trying to, because I did, because board is asking about the color, about the height, the size, because it seems like I didn't do anything for the size and the height. It's, it's not really, I try not to do it. I just trying to plead with the board that, you know, maybe this is, you, you would agree with me that it's in, is in harmony. And then the color, I need to make sure that husband and wife agree with something. And then with the garage, this is the only thing that uh, the other that come up from the last meeting. So I just bring it up to, to talk about it a little bit, but I don't expect you to approve the garage just, just without approving the house first. Okay, okay. understood. Um, okay. So if um, I hope, hopefully now you're understanding what our concerns are. I if totally you could, do. Um, talk to the client and re and please submit the information that you reviewed 
with us tonight so that we all have it and we can look at it thoroughly and we can drive by and um, do some of our homework on our side as well to try to get to a place where um, we find a, um, an agreeable proposal and everyone is happy because uh, that's our goal. Understood, we'll try our best. Thank, thank you very much. Okay, thank you so much. And uh, thank you for your time. I'll see you soon. Have a great evening. Thank you. So we will keep the public hearing open um, yeah. as we continue this conversation at the next meeting, which will be March March 24th, Lucy, will be the next meeting. Thank okay? you so much. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, bye-bye. We don't need a motion to try this public hearing. Mm -hmm. Ah. Uh, can we get a motion to table uh, 26, Jermaine? Do you, do you, can I ask, is there, it, we're sure there's nobody who wants to, to speak on, at the public hearing, right? Uh, we can double ask that, we asked that before, is there any, anyone from the public that would like to make a comment about 26, Jermaine? Okay. <laughs> All right. Could, could I speak to one more? It's, I, we do have a letter of support from uh, the neighbor. Mm, I, you know, I'll talk about that next time. Yeah. Great. And if you could submit that so we can read, that would be that would be very helpful. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thanks very much. Okay. Um, so who seconded? Who, who second the motion? Table it. Anyway. I will. Okay. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Yeah, okay, great. Hi, can I uh, interject real quick? <clears throat> can you guys hear me? No, I'm sorry, who is that? Uh, this is Sean from Landscape Details. Sorry, I just wanted to jump in real quick. Uh, did we already go over the uh, consent agenda matters? No, not yet. Not yet. We, we, we need to finish no, okay. the public hearing first. Okay. Okay. Um, so still within the public hearing, um, the contractor for an owner of um, Marsden 7, Marsden 12, and Marsden 15 has asked us to adjourn to March well, 20. can leave now, right? Fourth. So if um, okay. I could have someone make a, a motion to do that, please. Motion to table uh, 7 Marsden Street. Um, you can do all to a journal. Oh, uh, 12 Marsden Street and 15 Marsden Street. Someone uh, second, second. Great. All in favor? Aye. 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 Madam Aye. Chair, can I ask why don't we just this has been going on for months now? Is there, yes. is there any way that, that they, I thought they, if they delayed or postponed three times that they move back to the bottom of the pile? If, it, it might be my misunderstanding and Elizabeth, please straighten me out. Um, but, actually, Harry would be um, the one, we, we have raised that question. Um, given that they are in communication with us and do let us know that they, are not showing, um, but there is a point to your question um, of how long this can continue. We we started to have that conversation, and Harry, I don't know if you want to opine on that or if we're still doing homework on how long this goes. Let's give them a little more journey and then we'll uh, talk about it in the meantime. If there's no movement by next time, we'll, uh, we'll have a more concrete decision at that point. That makes sense. Uh, Harry, pardon, pardon me, old habits die hard. I'm sorry. Thank you. What's that? Sorry. Okay. Perfect. Okay, now we are going to open the consent agenda. And um, if someone can make a motion to um, approve the two items in the consent agenda. I'll make that motion okay. for 31 Meredith. And 36 Oakland. Uh, can I, I ask what were the what were the recommendations on the consent agenda? 
It's not clear on, on the copy I have. To, uh, that they've been accepted. They've been checked, correct? Yes. Thank you. And so um, all in favor of passing the consent agenda? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? No? Okay, great. So now we'll make a motion to close the consent agenda. One second. Second. And now we will move to old business. So the first item within old business is 11 Spring Street, which we discussed the last meeting. And there was a proposal with some new paint colors. Um, actually, do we want to? Are they here? Yep. Yeah, they're here. Uh, so I'm trying to make sure the grind is not blurred out. <laughs> I'm trying to <laughs> You're fading <laughs> in and out. It might be wanted. <laughs> um, hello, everybody. I guess I'll just share the screen. Um, I apologize. I got this in today, so I I, I apologize if. Uh, you haven't had a chance to review it, but it's just minor stuff aside from the um, paint, color. paint color, of course. Okay. That's the thing we can see. Wait. That's what you showed. Are you showing, seeing this? Do you guys see uh, letters or do you see a picture? Uh, we see the writing. So if you could okay. scroll down to the example of um, the, the two different grays that you're proposing? Yes. Yeah. So I'll go down to the render. Um, oh. This is, I mean, as good as I can make the render. Um, we also have uh, swatches on the, um, on the side of the building itself yeah. right now. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go back up just to show you the swatches themselves there. Mm -hmm. because it's slightly yeah. different than the render. Um, but the idea would be we are um, going with or we're suggesting a uh, Chelsea gray in eggshell for the facade and then a, a high gloss Kendall charcoal, a darker gray for the trim. Mm -hmm. Any comments from the board? I think it's an improvement. It's definitely an improvement, but it does look pretty dark. Can you go back to the rendering? Yeah, I I agree that it's an improvement, but um, it it still looks. Um, I would like to see more contrast, even, and maybe not quite so dark. So That's my um, my opinion. My my only my only concern is um, the more contrast we add, the more, to me at least, it starts looking like a gingerbread house, just based on the dimensionality of the structure itself. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of struts. Well, that's the period. <laughs> oh, and towards the period, and I'm not, uh, I did yeah. my own research, which I know is not a great thing to say th these days, but <laughs> the uh, structure was built in 1909. Uh, mm -hmm. And so I, I think that's right at the edge of Victorian period, depending on what country you're in. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, 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 I think the, the board is referring to the architectural style, not not the, the reign of Queen Victoria per se. Uh, these railroad stations were so, somewhat formulaic. In other words, they were, you know, the designs begin as the railroad is advancing out onto Long Island in the 1870s. And, uh, you know, the railroad takes a while to reach all the way out here. But the style of the building, I don't think anyone would guess it to date from the early 1900s. It's really more of an 
earlier appearing building in its style. And I think the only issue here is finding uh, contrasting colors that are more appropriate to the architecture, not technically the date that it was actually built. That's okay. another. So can I ask a question? Are you trying to keep it as dark as possible um, rather than show the contrast that is more typical with this style? Um, I, I think when we, you know, this is a, a different grade and we, we had a charcoal slate last time. And when we put in, tested out some of the lighter grays, it, it just, you know, as I said, it did look a bit like a dollhouse. That was, that was kind of the way it was coming up. And so we switched to a puttier style of gray and yeah, it seemed to look like some of the other houses in Sag Harbor, but maybe we weren't looking at this the right way. So, um, so which of you, which of you don't like dolls? <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually, I mean, I'll just say it. I, I like it. I think it's fine. And, and I think the pink sign kind of really adds that stuff that Zach's talking about in its own little way. I, I'm fine with the color that's here and the fence being the color that it is. I'm just saying that. <laughs> I, my concern, especially looking at this picture, is that there's all this nice uh, stuff up under the roof that's holding the roof up. And it kind of gets lost because of the shadow and because of the fact that, that it's painted a dark color. So you don't really see the, the nice little um, supports that are up under the roof. They kind what, of- what I, couldn't, what I couldn't show on this render, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off, Judith. No, it's okay. What, what's, what I couldn't show on this render is the high gloss of the darker trim, which- mm -hmm. I don't know if that technically means uh, it helps or changes the contrast, but I, I feel like in action, it will show a, a difference between the eggshell satin finish of the facade and the, and the gloss, and maybe it'll help it pop. That's good. Well, also, I recall you have lights up under there. We have so lights that, under the- That evening. could help. Yes. Yeah. yeah. yeah we Is there a chance? Uh, is there a chance that you could go um, slightly lighter on the light gray? On the facade? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I could go back to the historic colors. We can, what, what I would propose um, is that we actually paint portions of this building in the actual you know, gloss and I, I wanted to do it anyway because we, I, can't show, I can't show on the render the gloss, I just can't do it. Um, Good idea. We do this this color pattern, and then we do a lighter gray. And then I would invite anybody to. I mean, the the garden center is open as a Friday. That's a that's a plug as well, by the way. Um, so <laughs> Lynette's opening. <laughs> Lynette's opening tomorrow. Um, but uh, uh, and then and then maybe it will just mark underneath what those grays are, and I'll take pictures of it for the next meeting. Um, but well, also, actually, if you, know, you if you do that and we can come and look at it, I think that would be very helpful. Yeah. Um, yeah. And um, then we could see how much the detail really um, you know kicks out, and then we stay within you know the Victorian style and get the benefit of that detail. Um, so I think that's a great suggestion, and it would be it would be very helpful. Zach. Okay. Do you yeah, we yeah, that sounds like that sounds like a good plan. Can, yeah. I, can I make a suggestion? If we're going to do, and notice I'm using my words carefully, various alternate shades of gray, could we do various alternate trim colors? Um, yeah, I mean, it's just more little buckets of paint. Um, yeah. So we can do that. Yeah. Okay, so various, in my mind, means more than two. Different combos for, for everyone and for you, even for you to look at, right? Well, it, yeah, exactly, Bethany. I, I, yeah. That's what I was saying. I'd be happy to do it. for Because you just don't know time. until you really, you know. Yeah, I mean, you can look at renders as much as you want, but until you see it up and then with the light and the, you know, the situation, right. it's right. so much better to see it in person. Like, when I look at this, when I... 
when I look at the rendering, I can see the the uh, the stairway to the main door I, because of the sun, I guess, or whatever the light. It that looks different than the trim, and so I think if if we if we actually see it, you know, and all of us, it'll it'll make a difference for everyone. Yeah, the, the stairway is currently just wood. Just right. so you know, we right. don't touch that. Um, right. It's just the wooden stairway. I don't know if you think it would make more sense to paint that. Well, hang on. I, we, we're, so I meant, I meant the, you know, the, the posts there. The posts. Going up okay. at the stairs. Yeah. To me, it looks. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. I think we have a great plan and we appreciate um, and we hope that it's helpful to you as well as, as it is to us. It, it totally will be because it's a big decision. You get to do it once. <laughs> Great. See it. Right. So we're going to table this until next week's I, meeting. Um, and once they're going to paint some samples and different combinations of both the lighter on the facade as well as the darker on the trim, so that we can, along with them, come up with a um, uh, the combination that's going to work. So we, we appreciate we that. And we will all as board members um, be doing our best to drive by to see uh, once the, the painting samples are up. Okay, uh, can, we, can we table this portion, but look at the rest? Because th this we have a little time on. Um, okay. The painting we have time on, but some of the other stuff we'd need to move on okay. if that's all right. Okay. Okay, I thought that, um, in the effort for you to be ordering some of the things that you needed to order that we were in agreement where there was there some that we were still open-ended on yeah what i have on the screen now is i said last meeting we would provide more detail on the fence that we're proposing between okay. the two properties um, yeah that's just the dividing fence between the garden center and ourselves and that's required actually by the state liquor authority so the license, but there'd be a, a, a dividing, delineating that you know, line between the businesses. Um, so this is all interior. Um, interior to the property. Interior to the property. Right. Yeah. It looks nice and clean. Yeah. It's just yeah. like standard. I, I think it's good. Like, okay. I think it's uh, very nice looking. Mm -hmm. And it would, it would match, the, the color would match whatever the front yes. fence is going to be, correct? Yeah, we would, it would match the trim of the building. Yeah, right. I mean, we could, the, the, paint, the paint color we can discuss at the next meeting. Okay, because um, okay. you can order the fence without it being painted. I got it. Right, right. <laughs> okay. Exactly. <laughs> yes. And we did, and we really appreciated that in the last meeting. We did order the doors. Um, they uh, the the they'll be in in June, but so we'll have to pop them in after we open. But we can do that quickly. Mm -hmm. um, okay. The sign I wasn't sure if the sign was approved or not. I I don't remember. I don't think it was. I think no. I think what we were trying to see. I mean, the pink does definitely pop out at you, um, and I think the key with the understanding what color is going to be on the facade will help understand um, how the logo will fit into the whole building. Okay, so, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay, and then the other thing is lighting. Right? The lights, I don't, yeah, aside, I mean, we, we can wait on lights too, but if, I, I don't think it's controversial. Um, in the eaves. The, the lights are underneath the eaves, as you can yeah. see on yeah. this top, View and as you can see on the side, they're underneath. They're facing the building. Sorry, they're facing down and towards the building from under mm -hmm. the eaves. And they're an LED mm -hmm. 12 watt with a 3000 K um, color temperature. Kilowatts. I, I don't know if Bob's rejoined us. He, he yes. Has I am. I'm looking. I hear him. I hear him. Oh, good. I want to hear what Bob says. I I think there there's sufficient lighting with this these uh, units that they want to place here. 
Okay. Uh, Bob, I was I was at a trustee meeting this week. Um, the village is relighting, is changing the street lights. I guess primarily throughout Main Street. Right. Uh, but they have. I think it was a two hundred a twenty five hundred k. Um, power rating, I guess, um, and that's going to be the limitation. Is, is Does that make sense? Uh, I think they're they're talking about using a type of uh, a uh, high pressure sodium type. Okay, I thought it was LED. This is not, this is just an LED that, or, that they're using here on this. No, I think they're going to LED lights. The mm -hmm. light the the I'd the like building. to see that, okay. And, and, and so I'm just saying, the only thing, other thing I noticed is, is there a downlight on the sign? I don't, based on the locations you saw, you showed us, is there a downlight on the sign? Yeah, so each of the uh, each of the lights have, each of the fixtures have two lights that are adjustable. Right. And so I don't know if you can see my little cursor. Right. Right. Yes. Yeah, we can. So yes. yeah. So this is um, this would be the light position, and it would shine down like obliquely onto the sign. Yes. The signs on that side of the. Yeah. You know, you know let me yeah. let me go to a better picture. Yeah. So yeah. it'd be roughly like in here. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think I think that sounds like you're doing it, and and we won't be worrying about the lights shining out onto the street right. since we'll be underneath the um, the awning roof. Um, right. So I I think that um, that should be satisfactory. Okay. Right. Um, I think that's it. Oh, that's another little picture. That's great. Mm -hmm. And the and and the windows that are in the building now are going to stay, correct? With the with the exception of the uh, of this window here, which it becomes a doorway for the ADA right. ramp. The ramp. Yep. yep. Everything else, everything else is staying the same. All righty. Okay. Great. All right, well, thank you again. And um, we look forward to seeing the new paint combination okay. examples. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. See you on the 24th. See you on the 24th. Motion to table 11 yeah. Spring Street to the March 24th meeting. I'll second. Great. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, six rector. Okay, we will look to, I will make a motion to table six rector street until March 24th. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Um, as I believe everyone has seen that um, we've gotten requests from 207 Main to adjourn until March 24th. So we're going to table that. Someone can make a motion. So moved. Second. Great. All in favor? Aye. 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 OK, great. And so now we will close new old business and we will open new business. And we are moving to 81 Suffolk Street. Man, Chair, just one question. I'm sorry, I'm being difficult tonight. Um, <laughs> Six Rector Street. Um, you know, I went by there and looked at it again. I, I I forgot what this amendment is, and so can that just be added to let us know what we're looking for when we go by? Because it's it's uh, in a state of construction. So it's, I'm just it's asking. A, yes, it's in a pause state of construction. <laughs> Right, but it's um, just an amendment to the previous approval. Yeah. I just don't know what the amendment they're requesting is. So I'm just asking that next time uh, on the agenda, it just references, is it the windows? Is it the doorway? Is it, what is the amendment that they're asking for? 
It's so predominantly the porch. The front porch is what we are needing to all agree on. Um, They're going to keep the existing door. It's the way the um, columns on the porch will be placed, as well as you know the stairs that go up. What they they will put a new front door underneath um, the porch, which we have signed off on. They will put the windows underneath, which we have signed off on. It's more just the top part of the porch that we need to get a final agreement on. So the construction is on hold until they are back in town and we can have that meeting. There's potential that they will call into a Zoom, but that has not been the case for the last couple of weeks. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Absolutely. And understandable why you need that update and clarification. Um, okay, so now we will go to 81 Suffolk. Anthony, I think. Yes, uh, good evening. Anthony Vermandois, 68 Union Street. Uh, I'd like to go into screen sharing. Everybody see the photograph? Not yet. There you yep. go. There we yeah. go. Okay, great. All right, so um, this house, it's on um, Suffolk, um, Suffolk Street. Um, the, the main thing that we're doing here is, um, if you go by the house, you'll, uh, you know, that the house is, um, I mean, it, it, it's very low to the uh, to grade right now. Uh, what's happened, I think, over time is the street has gone up um, over time uh, as it's been repaved and whatnot. Um, the house has obviously stayed where it is. I mean, you see this kind of condition all over in Sag Harbor, but it's particularly extreme with this house where um, we're actually at some points, points the, the, the dirt around the house is practically up to first floor level, the finished floor level. Um, that being said, and also the fact that the foundation is just even for Sag Harbor is in terrible condition. It's, it's really needs to be replaced. Um, what we want to do is since we have to replace the foundation is use this as an opportunity to kind of rectify the, um, the, the, um, the, the houses, the houses, um, um, relationship to grade. So what we're proposing is to raise the house exactly one foot, um, relative to existing grade main ridge doesn't change at all. There's no dormers, nothing like that. It's just the house is going up one foot. This house is going, uh, as I'm circling, uh, is going up one foot relative to existing grade. Uh, we did get um, zoning board of appeals uh, because doing that technically triggered a pyramid um, violation, um, but we did get the, yeah. the, um, the zoning board of, of appeals um, approval to do that. Um, so, so that's basically, that's basically the, the main part of this project. Um, I'm going to exit and then return to, um, screen sharing for a moment. Um, it was, it, well, actually, before I do that, does anyone have any questions about the, about the actual raising of the house? Well, what's the foundation that's all crumbling away? What's it made of? And what's the new one going to be? Uh, the existing one is kind of a hodgepodge of brick and cinder block and dirt. Um, some parts of the house are really just on dirt. Mm -hmm. um, you know, fuel, local locust boats that are uh, um, collapsing. Um, the the new uh, foundation will be a uh, poured concrete foundation. I mean, even going up a foot, very little of this foundation is going to be exposed to to view. You know, it's going to be you know maybe eight inches at most from the shingles to to the new uh, to the to the grade. Hmm. Um, uh, can I just jump in briefly? I think, Anthony, when you pour that foundation, you should leave room for a shelf to accommodate brick. Okay. Because I mean, if, yeah, if I you mean, walk we, up, I'm just when, when you're out on Suffolk, if you're looking up the driveway, if this house is coming up a full foot, you're going to see that foundation. Uh, and it's, it's, this is a contributing building in the historic district. So I think uh, that precaution to face off not underneath the porch, because obviously mm -hmm. that can't be seen. Uh, that would be unnecessary. But I do feel that the sides and the back should be stepped in so that you can face that with, with brick. Okay. Because yeah, you'll sure. see it. Sure, we can do that. 
Okay, that'd be good. Okay, I'm going to um, stop share and then get go back into sharing. Um, okay, um, so you should be seeing um, the exterior elevations here. Um, so you can see, you know, this is what the house will um, look like from um, with its new uh, grade. We are proposing a, a small one story addition to the side, uh, to the side towards the rear. Um, you know, it's set, set back a good, um, let's say a good 20 feet from the um, front facade, uh, just a little one story kind of mud room, laundry room, um, staircase to the new basement. Um, kind of the same, a little sort of slightly simplified version of the um, front porch for so the side porch here. Um, the back of the house, actually, I wanna just go back into the, um, bear with me here for a second. I wanna go back to the photographs. Um, there's the porch. Uh, just trying to. Anthony, are they the original windows? Um, I want to get to the windows in just just uh, just a moment, uh, okay. if, you, if you don't mind. I mean, just 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 want to just point out something about the there's a, this existing one story addition in the back. It, it has uh, basically kind of a. Um, a little bit of sloped roof and then a little parapet detail coming up on either side. Um, so I just, just want to point that out uh, as I go back to the elevations. Um, oh shoot, I lost you guys. Okay, here we go. All right, share screen, okay. All right. Yeah, I just just wanted to point that out because that was the d detail we were uh, picking up here. That sort of parapet detail with the uh, slope roof um, behind it for that addition. Um, just kind of zooming in here, um, you can see that the house now has um, um, kind of those sort of uh, vinyl shingles. So we're going to reside the house with uh, painted wood clapboards. Uh, um, a corner board detail, just a you know four inch um, corner board, uh, exact same soffit fascia. Um, I imagine when they lift the house, the porch will need to be um, deconstructed, but it will be reconstructed in exactly the same way. Um, to your point about the windows, uh, you know, they're old windows. I'm not sure if they are original windows uh, that you can see in the um, photographs. They're sort of like these two over two um, storm sash sashes. Right, right. Uh, but then six over six for the actual windows themselves. Um, I, you know, I, I, I don't really know enough about it, whether or not those are the original windows or not. I mean, we would certainly like to replace them, um, but, you know, it's... Because, I mean, I don't think it... It doesn't say that the windows will be replaced. I don't think. Yeah. I, I think I, I put that as keeping them as existing, but yeah. uh, you know, once again, I would probably de defer to the board on this if these are, if that's something that's we it. can consider as an option. I'd like to point something out quickly. I, I, I guess your, your measurements are accurate here, right, Anthony? I yeah. mean, your sizes. Okay, so what I had noticed uh, at the facade in general, is that those second story windows are noticeably smaller mm -hmm. than the ones downstairs. Yes, and, and that that's, is correct. That's, and that's, that's not something that we're accustomed to seeing. And the ones downstairs appear to be of the right proportion. My guess is that the upstairs windows have been modified, but I think a, a quick little walk around there might help you to see what's what because because the size of those window panes upstairs is noticeably smaller than downstairs. And that's not, you know, that may be something that people design nowadays, but that's not happening in the Victorian period. So there's something yeah, a little yeah. questionable there. And I think maybe we could kind of figure that out on site. Could be helpful. Yeah. yeah. 
I, I think that the the um, homeowner would be agreeable to that because you know that's something you know, we had this you know we, we know about the windows here, but I, I think that you know certainly if if the trade off was we could get new windows that are more correctly proportioned to the mm-hmm. style of the house, I think that right, would be right. something we would would definitely sure. be agreeable. Sure. That, to. That's something we could look at. I also have a question while I'm got the podium here. Um, do you have posts holding up that new? porch um the, the new back. porch i just have I guess it's fairly small i was just going to do um i think i have a detail of it in here somewhere um i was just going to do like a, a, a rather than try to duplicate the the, the, the spindly uh, and compete with the spindly uh victorian posts on the front facade just do a mm-hmm. simple square square post at the corner yeah i think that looks a little strange and i also wanted to point out that that even though there's a full, you know, full porch out front, you can envision putting a rocking chair out there, which was the intention. Uh, the length of that porch overhang in your addition just seems oddly. In other words, one function is to cover the door so that mm. you don't get rained on when you're standing going in. Okay, and that's why we have stoops, etc. Yeah, this yeah. is is a little little of that and a little of I don't know what. I think it might look better. It'd be more appropriate to the period to only have that half of what it is and have it on top of the door and not sure, so just the, the porch up a little bit yeah now that just seems like it doesn't go anywhere and it doesn't kind of do anything yeah. uh anyway just a suggestion uh, mm-hmm. that would be i think so appropriate me, uh, to before style. i agree to that let me just look at the floor plan mm-hmm. here is that yeah is that yeah i think we can we can do that yeah I don't, I don't see any, is, any is it, is there a reason, Anthony, why the door may be either the door isn't centered or there's not a window? Um, yeah, it really just has to do with the, the layout of the, of the floor plan. Um, uh-huh. you know, the door, you know, goes into a mud room and then there's a little powder room off to the side and the window oh, is okay. to the side. Okay. Yeah. I see. yeah. So it's the bathroom. Yeah. 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 Well, that, that kind of works. I just think the length of that right. roof exaggerates the fact that there's nothing underneath it and if it were just half of that sitting on top of that door it would clearly be serving a purpose and it wouldn't exaggerate the fact that there's an empty wall next to it that's just kind of an observation okay Stephanie I'm with you I'd love to see you know powder rooms have 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 windows Mm. Yeah, um, I mean, it just, well, I don't know. I think it would I, balance it, but what do I yeah, know? <laughs> I think so too. A little window would, yeah, a little window. Or, or right. if, the, if the door could have been centered, it would be a okay too, I think. All right, well, I mean, we I have to adjust, to get... adjust the porch anyway, so I can see if I can do something with that. Okay. Good. Um. The uh, move to table uh, 81, Suffolk. Uh, little, 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 yeah. 80, 81 80. Suffolk Street for our next meeting on the 24th of March. And I'd say the changes that we, well, the first thing we will set up. A, well, we want to do a, 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 a correct a, a site visit, right? To yeah. just to kind of figure out what's yeah. going on with those windows. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Set up a All site right, so, visit uh, to review the second story windows and. Yeah. Um, as well as uh, look at the first floor windows, and you will submit. Oh, you will Anthony, submit. Um, uh, I, I, have a, I have a question. Sorry, um, you said you're going to remove vinyl. Do you know what's underneath? Um, I'm kind of assuming clapboards. Yeah. And do you think that the clapboards that are underneath can be um, restored? Okay. I mean, you know, I, I mean, I don't think we'll we'll know for sure until we start taking the vinyl off. Right. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it would be great if they they could be because I mean, as you folks know, the the price of oh, wood, uh, uh, wood yes. sh- uh, shingles and plywood is just crazy sure. you know, these It'd days. Be great if you could preserve them. Oh, well, that would be great, great if we could, we could salvage yeah. it. Yeah. Before we came, you know, before we come to look at windows, you could take some of the you know vinyl off so we could we could all yeah. see. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's good. Okay, okay so um, I'm gonna should I? I'll, I guess I'll call into the building department tomorrow or email just to schedule the the site meeting. Um, sure. Hopefully, sometime next week. Anthony, if you can give us um, 
sometimes that work for you and the owner, and then uh, we will let you know what works well, for that. You know, I would I would give you a date. I would give you a date now, but I just have to check with the oh, the homeowner okay. just to, to uh, make right. sure I have the access. Of course, if she's home this week. Okay. Okay. Uh, and so Christian made the um, initial motion and we know there's going to be some changes submitted as well as a site visit. Um, so if we could have someone second that. I'll second. Thank you, Bethany. All in favor? Aye. Uh, Aye. Okay, great. I think this is our shortest meeting on record. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have to have helped okay. out with that. Okay. Take care. I will make a motion to uh, end the meeting. Uh, if someone could second it. Second. Oh, second. All in favor. Aye. Aye. Thank you, everyone. Everyone have a, a great evening. And Harry, we can um, circle back on uh, what the right next steps on for Marston too. Yeah, I'll follow up on that. Just a suggestion. Okay, All right, thanks everyone. Appreciate it.